<clears throat> All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're ready to get underway now. Um, and Mark Summich is my name. I'm here to conclude the campaign, which has been spearheaded by Rebecca predominantly and the team at um, uh, Key2 and uh, the reality of, of any virtual option that we run is that there's an element of uh, uh, speed being compromised. So we just need to make sure that everyone gets a fair crack of the whip here. And, uh, and I will be pr pretty cautious with um, um, the details and with the speed of the bidding. So bear with me for a moment. I'll read the terms firstly and then give you my quick thoughts about the property and we'll move into the auction straight afterwards. So as I read from my phone, the owners today are Coast Residential Limited and they offer you their fine home at 17A Alexander Avenue, Torbay in Auckland on a freehold title of some 400 square metres of land. And it's known in the North Auckland Land Registry Office as Lot 2 on deposit plan 540490 and the title reference is 906046. Now, um, uh, Coast Residential Limited are offering you vacant possession on the property and there's a vast chattels list. I note the hanging light fixtures are included and there's all sorts of things, including um, uh, 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 water pumps and things, uh, all landscape gardens and uh, the like are included. So as is, where is essentially. Now, settlement date is down for the 22nd of September this year, so pretty much a month from today, or five working days after the vendor provides the purchaser a copy of the code compliance certificate, whichever is the later. I will come to the clause about that shortly. Late interest will be at 12% per annum, but it's fair to say that under the COVID clause around settlement of clause 22, um, that would need to be uh, in a level which enables settlement to take place and those provisions are well and truly catered for in the depths of clause 22 so nobody is unfairly compromised. Now Coast Residential Limited have set a reserve figure for the property, I won't be disclosing that to you, but subject to it being reached, the highest bidder will be the purchaser. In the event of any disputes, we'll resolve them quickly or we'll go back to the previous undisputed bid and I'm at pains to point out over the last couple of days, I've had one or two examples of that. So you just need to be cautious um, over if, if that uh, is uh, necessitated. Uh, vendor bidding is my exclusive right. It's um, something that I use not lightly. If I make a vendor bid, you'll know it's a vendor bid because I'll call it a vendor bid, only at levels well below the reserve. I'll do it uh, reluctantly, but unashamedly. If you are the purchaser today, ladies and gentlemen, you'll need to make the arrangements to sign the agreement and pay the 10% deposit. Now, I am aware that some variations to the agreement have been uh, set, and uh, on that basis, um, they'll be honoured, provided those have been agreed to prior to the auction. Are you picking me up there as Joanne on... Are you picking me up there, Russell? Yes, I am. Oh, you are. Okay. It's just that Joanne was showing us talking, so no problem. I'll just get to the uh, later clauses, which are more pertinent and, uh, well, not more pertinent, but very relevant in the sale. And particularly, Clause 23 notes that Tim Scott is a director of Coast Residential Limited and also a registered real estate agent and may benefit finance, financially from the sale of the property. We've disclosed that to you. Clause 24 around the aforementioned code compliance certificate states that you, the owner acknowledges that the CCC may not be issued from the local authority prior to auction date. And as a result, we'll provide the following measures as assurance to the purchaser. The deposit is to be held in the vendor solicitor's trust account until the vendor provides the purchaser or their solicitor a copy of the CCC, at which point the deposit shall be released. And that settlement will be either the 22nd of September or five working days after you have been provided with a copy of the CCC, whichever is the later. And 24.4, if the CCC has not been provided within three months from the date of this agreement, the purchaser may choose to cancel this agreement and all deposit funds shall be returned. Now, my understanding is that uh, all the documentation has been signed off and it's a paper trail, a fait accompli in essence. Rebecca, that's your under understanding of it? 
Yeah, okay, very good, thank you. Clause 25, a 10 year master bill guarantee will be provided to the purchaser upon settlement and the date of commencement of this guarantee is from practical completion date approximately the 30th of June this calendar year. And clause 26, a defects, maintenance, warranties included until 30 June next year. This does not cover wear and tear or damage caused by the new owners. So those are the terms, a couple of long-winded clauses to the to the end there, but predominantly in place to protect you as a potential purchaser. I'm unconcerned by them and certainly best endeavours are well and truly in place from all parties. So I'm going to assume that if you bid today, you are satisfied with those terms, but if you, prior to the auction commencing in a few minutes, if you've got any issues, please let me know. But it is fair to say that uh, that 10 year master bill guarantee, absolutely critical for a new build like this, a, a splendid residence on a uh, straightforward 10th of an acre, around 400 square meters of land. And you've got a, a large home out over 2000 square foot. I think it's about 190 square meters. So, and it's uh, strewn uh, over that size with its four bedrooms and three bathrooms. Plenty of sun, uh, a prerequisite of living in Tall Bay, I would have thought, uh, but you can have a gentle stroll to the village down to the coast. You've got three excellent schools in close proximity. Uh, and when, once you get home, you'll be able to uh, revel in your landscape garden and the works. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a genuine solution, I would have thought, to your housing demands. I'm happy. If uh, there are no issues to commence bidding, uh, everyone okay with the terms? And just to reiterate, I'm happy to take bids either verbally from you, or if you wish to raise your hand, I'll accept that as a, an acceptance of the bid I'm asking for. So in your hands, really, if there's nothing untoward to kick us off, has someone got something reasonable to get me underway, please? Yep, 1.4. 1.4 is a great start. I've got you up there as Kathy. You may not be, you don't look like Kathy, but I'll take you as Kathy. At you can call me Alistair for the purposes of today. Thank you. 1 million four, looking for 1.45. If someone had that to take me in the right direction, it would be a splendid move towards home ownership because Kathy, in inverted commas, leads with an opening bid at 1 million 400,000, looking for 1,450. Anyone there? I've got it there with the hand in the far corner uh, under, under property. It is, thank you, 1.45, necessitating you to take me to 1.5 million if you can. Uh, uh, Kathy, if you like my lamp lighter, is there 1.5 million on the screen? And there is straight back at 1.5. That'll mean you take me to 1.55 if you can, sir. For a genuine solution, I've got it straight away at 1 and 5.50. Is there 1.6 on the screen this afternoon? Genuinely looking for a serious taker at this level. At 1 million 5.50, I bid now. First call, my top corner, and 1.6 is the move in the right direction. Certainly at that sort of price, at 1 million 6, I would have thought you'd be in. Is it 1.650, sir? It's back against you now. You haven't spent anything yet. And at 1.6, Kathy leads. I'm looking for my man labeled properly to hit me off. Is it 1650, sir? And I bid it now. Once, I bid twice. Can we go in tens? I'll tell you what, if you made it 25, I'd run with it. If you make 1.625. So I'm just waiting on confirmation. <laughs> no problem. Yep, okay. 1625. Thank you, sir. Appreciate that. And I'm obliged to offer similar increments all round, sir. At 1,625,000, it's back against you predominantly now, sir. If you want to make it 1,650, it's again you. And, sir, let me just tell you at this stage to avoid any prolonged procrastination, the property is on the market. I'm going to sell it at 1625. Unless there's anything further, I'm hoping to see 1.6. 1635. 1635? Yes. You've got it there. 10,000 now at 1,635. And I offer the same all round at 1,635 at Alexander Avenue. For genuine sale, it goes to Kathy in inverted commas for the one of 10, if you like, sir. Is it 45? Back against you. Yes, please. Yeah. 45 now. I'm fairly bid at 1.645 and 1.655. Thank you. Got that now. 
a race in two and two only, but we play for the keys at 1,655. A little tense as we wait for Jacinda's decision, but at 1.655, keys are changing hands. Is it 65, sir? It is. 1,665,000 and 65 with property. Is it 75, sir? It is. 1,675,000. These tens aren't working, sir. You might have to take me to 1.7. But it's certainly 1,600,000 and 75 in the top right corner. I bid it now to Cathy going. Once. Hello. Hello. I'll give you time to make the call, sir. All right. I bid twice at $1.675 million. Sorry, can you say that again? Yeah, can, is, can we just hold for a second while I... You, we will, yes. Thank you. You've got it there, Kathy, at the moment. At 1,675,000, you're in no danger of losing it at the minute. But as I stated earlier, I need to give everyone fair warning and fair chance to make a decision. Okay, one more. 1685. I'm bid now. 1695 over there. And a benchmark figure looms, sir. You want to tick over it? You can. It's 1 and 695. I sell it. First call, and it goes. First call, I've been 1,695,000. Okay, one Twice. Third and final call, I need your final decision, sir. No, sorry, that's us. Do you need to make contact or is it uh, you're out at this level? Yes, no, we're out, sorry, thank okay, you. Sir, it's going, going, I won't take a late bid then. And Kathy, in inverted commas, it is sold to you right now, sir, and congratulations to you at $1,695,000. Thank you all for your participation. I appreciate it. Rebecca, congratulations. And thank to my you. owners, thank you very much for your... Uh, well done, Elmo. Appreciate uh, all your involvement. Have a great afternoon. And we'll be in touch with you, sir, to get the paperwork signed up. Congratulations, Alistair. Well done, Mark. Yeah, thanks, Russell. Appreciate that. Um, thank you. And congratulations to our vendor. Yeah, it's all right. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. Stay safe. Enjoy lockdown. All right, Rebecca, you. you'll handle the paperwork now with uh, the gentleman. Yes. Or, it looks like Kathy. She looks pretty happy to me. That, that's that's Kathy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, you can handle all that. I I don't need to be involved anymore. Russell and his wife can sign the agreement then. Um, if it became a major issue um, and you couldn't get to them, you could send it to me and I can scan an email as the owner's representative, but you should be able to organize that between your guys, there's no drama. Okay. Uh, and 1695 was the figure. I don't know if there were any um, alterations to the agreement or not, uh, variations, but that's up to you guys. It's, uh, it's obviously a tremendous property and you can take strength, Kathy, from seeing the other people in and justifying your price. Good on you. Well done. <laughs> well done. I think Thank, you guys you. Are really Thank you. All right. I'll leave you to it. Thanks, Russell. Thank okay. you. Cheers. Thanks, Mike. Cheers. Bye.